What's up guys, it's Mr. Euphonium and today we're going to be doing the part 2 of the neighborhood house. Before we get this video started, I would like to ask everybody to go drop a like down below, leave some fresh juicy comments, and if you're watching this video right now and you haven't watched part 1, you might want to go watch part 1 first because you're going to be pretty lost as to what to do or uh, you're not going to know where we're starting from, so you're going to need to watch part 1 first. But, yeah. Now you want to do is get your brick and you actually just want to close that off. Very simple. Probably the easiest part of this tutorial. Okay. So now what you want to do is come to right here. And you want to add one additional layer going the full blocks way. Then you want to come one away from the center. And you want to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the other direction. Then come one away from the center again. I mean, not from the center, from the edge. My bad. And you want to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then come one away from the edge again. One, two, three, four, five. One away from the edge again. One, two, three. And then right in the center is one. So now you should have your triangle shaped roof just like that. And now what you want to do is you want to get your quartz stairs and put that right there bring that out one also you may want to have some cobble stone stairs in hand so I'm gonna put those right there actually I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out all right then you want to put your cobblestone stairs going all the way up until right there and do that on the other side as well but on this last one where it's flat with the quartz then you want to bring that out just like that and you want to stick these on the edges just like that now what you want to do is come to the bottom side of the stairs and you want to place upside down stairs underneath them go ahead and come to the top you want to place one upside down stair just like that you want to go inside and get a cobblestone slab and a quartz slab. Put the cobblestone slab right there. Put the quartz slab right there. Now what you want to do is you want to come to this section right here. Get some black stained glass. And you want to come on top of this window, the right one, and you want to go over one, two, just like that. And do that with this left window too. Then on the inner part of that, you want to put one right there and do that right there as well. Then what you want to do is get pillar court block. And you want to go up one right there two right here three right here four right here now why am I saying it like that every time it's gonna go up one block until you come to this point right here then it's gonna stop that you're gonna actually have to do some looking and pay attention in so what you want to do is come to this section right here nowhere else and you want to delete this slab I know you just placed it but you're gonna to want to delete it and you want to put a quartz uh, stair going that way you also want to come to this point and place two just like that and then do the same thing with the cobblestone stairs as you have done on that side but this time it's only going upward and go ahead and put the quartz on top of that or in front of that as I should have said now you want to put your upside down stairs underneath of those and from here you can kind of see where the house is gonna go you can kind of see it now you want to so you can get this a lot easier you want to put upside down right side up upside down right side up 
and from here what you want to do is basically keep doing that same thing until they even out so look at this and you see that they've come to a point now what you want to do is go ahead and put the final touches on there so they meet up perfectly if they don't come to a perfect point make sure you get them directly in the center now what you want to do is basically fill up this hole you don't want a big hole in the middle of your house because it just doesn't seem safe now does it so you want to go ahead and bring these up like this you can actually go ahead and do this because nobody's going to see the inside yet unless you interiorize the inside but since I'm not going to interiorize the inside I don't care what the inside looks like okay so now you have that and let's get on with the next part okay so now what you want to do is come to this section right here and you're going to want to put oops I cannot get it a court stair right there you want to bring it all the way across you know bring it all the way across just like that so I'll take a minute to look at that all right now what you want to do is get another court pillar block and you want to skip one two three and on the fourth block make it go up till it matches that one so basically let me count it out for you one it and you're also going to do it on this side it's going to be lined up with this one two three four five six seven eight blocks high just like that now what you want to do is get your quartz slabs and you want to outline it and you're going to start it right there in line with that bottom um, of this one that sticks out and I'm going to outline it just like this there we go now you want to get your cobblestone slabs and you want to basically bring it to a point so it's going to go around the perimeter just like this and then around the perimeter just like this and then make it meet up right here so I'll take a minute to look at that okay so now what you want to do is you want to come to this section and you actually want to make this have a row of court stairs uh, going across like that and make sure one sticks out like that put an upside down stair right there one on top of that going the right way upside down stair right there and one top of that going the right way now you can go ahead and bring this up to match that one so ups oh upside down right side up upside down and right side up get your cobblestone stair and you only want to make it go over one row for now okay one row not two not seven but one now you want to come to this quartz there and you want to bring this cobblestone stair over one two just like that oh what am I talking about yeah 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 one two now do it right here as well and you should have something that looks like this now you want to get your quartz pillars first of all you're gonna need something to go underneath of there just might as well you can just grab any block since you're probably not gonna do the interior for this anyway uh, for this part of the garage even if you do the interior for the rest of the house but you're going to want to have one row of quartz pillar blocks facing upward just like that and go across just like this uh, leaving out the two edge pieces and once again leave out the two edge pieces do the same thing again leave out the edge pieces leave out the edge pieces 
leave out the edge pieces leave out the edge pieces and one in the center now you should have something that looks like this now what you're going to want to do you want to going to get your quartz stairs and you're going to want to actually place it on the front of this oh <gasps> the front yes the front you're going to and then place it on the front of every single one going up until you get till this one this is the last one you're going to do that for you're not going to do it for that center one so don't do it i already know somebody out there is going to do it and be like <gasps> my thing doesn't fit it's uneven so yeah don't do it all right now you're going to want to put your upside upside down stairs on the bottom of these and you're going to want to put an upside down stair right there now you want to put a quartz slab right there and you're actually going to want to delete one block from every single one of these just like that every single block behind these stairs why are you going to do that on the first one you're going to put one quartz stair on every single other one you're going to put cobblestone including the top with the slab you're going to put cobblestone all right and remember on the bottom piece you're going to go back to these quartz so this is what we have so far okay guys so what you're going to want to do is come to either the right or left side it doesn't matter it's going to both have the same dimensions you're going to want to go back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen blocks and then go ahead and do that same thing on the other side so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so since you added nineteen to a block of one this all should be a row of 20 ah oh, what do you know okay okay so um excuse me so now what you want to do is you want to bring this over all the way to the other side mm -hmm. okay don't worry guys this isn't going to be just some flat ugly design i will think of something to put on there but for now what you want to do is you see right here you're going to want to go up one more block around the edges of the backs and I mean the back and the sides and go ahead and do it right here as well and since this is the back of the house it doesn't have as big windows so you're going to want to come to the edge and you're going to want to go over two like this you're going to put two right there just of the black stained glass and you're going to go want to go over one two three four five blocks just like that guys i'm going to go ahead and bring this part of the video to an end please make sure to go watch part one if you haven't already and stay tuned to watch part three i'm mr euphonium and make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe of course enjoy your day